Who is in that's gonna fuck to get coffee around here? Jesus Christ, I mean, come on, man. Hi, welcome to the Buttons Bulletin. It's Friday the 13th, an unlucky day for some, a lucky day for you because you're going to get a whole ton of news. Now first up, we have some big news from Techland, the developers of Dying Light. Now they've announced their Season Pass, which is going to consist of three DLC packs that are staggered over the next couple of months. Now the cost for this Season Pass is going to be $19.99. Along with the Season Pass, Techland have announced that they're going to be releasing free content in the form of the hard difficulty setting. Now this will make supplies more scarce, enemies more dangerous, and will make the player focus on the stealth mechanics that many of us tend to ignore once you power up a little bit. Fallout and the Eldar Scrolls developers Bethesda have announced that they're going to launch this year their first ever E3 show. That's going to take place on June 14th and the registration will open in the coming months. Bethesda are also going to stream their conference through their Twitch channel. Does this mean that Fallout 4 is in the offering? Who knows, we'll have to wait until June. Now for all you budding architects out there, the upcoming title Cities Skyline has finally got a release date. Now this PC, Mac and Linux title is going to launch on March 10th this year. Now the hugely successful free to play game Warframe on PC, PS4 and Xbox One is going to feature relays. These are MMO style social areas where players will actually be able to go in and actually interact with their fellow gamers. And finally, the rumour mill has been churning. Through the EA Careers page, Bioware have advertised for someone to help them with an online Mass Effect project. Does this mean that Mass Effect 4 is going to be announced at E3? Who knows? We'll have to wait till June. Thanks for tuning in. Until next week, take care. Buttons, do your thing. Buttons Bulletins were brought to you by Save a Scotsman. Well, more like Shave a Scotsman looking at this big bloody grizzly bear beside me. Come back next week for more.